So today I'm going to do a little bit of a different subject. Um, I'm going to show the history of post-World War I Germany through to the end of World War II in stamps. Um, when I was younger, like pre-teens, early teens, I used to collect stamps and coins and uh, had a pretty big collection at one point and I got rid of everything except for my German collection because it's kind of a rather unique um, it's it's rather unique in the stamp collecting world in that it's it's a, kind of a record of a very interesting time in history and you can see how propaganda was used by the Nazi regi regime even in stamps, in what was portrayed on the stamps and stuff. So, um, basically here we start out with early 1920s stamps. It's like that one there, I believe is uh, one and a quarter marks. And um, as time passed on, if you know history, you know that Germany had a horrendous inflation after World War I ended and so here you can see the very start of it this is a 50 mark stamp it's, it's like fifty dollars basically fifty German dollars to mail a letter now that one's actually canceled it was used and then you can see as time went on um, it progressed it went from 200 marks to 300 marks to 50,000 marks and then these are actually um, I forget what these are called they're they're basically are over stamps on another stamp changing the value of it so now you have 75,000 marks stamped over a 300 mark stamp 100,000 100,000 250,000 800,000 2 million 400,000, 2 million, 4 million, 5 million, 10 million, 20 million, 30 million, 500 million. This is a 1 billion mark stamp. Imagine inflation like that. 1 billion marks for one stamp, and it wouldn't even mail a letter. That was, that's a pretty fascinating little uh, history right here. With you can see the progression in a short time from like 50 marks to 1 billion marks in a very short time. And then, after the inflation got under control and Hitler was um, in power, you know, the inflation went away and the economy got better. And then you can see it's kind of reflected in here. Actually, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Hitler. Uh, I guess would have been rising to power around this time. Um, but you can see like that a series with German composers. And uh, then they had the Hindenburg, Hindenburg stamps. And then when he died, there was a special edition with the black edges. That's just a cancellation. I have of one of the Hindenburg stamps from 1937, Hamburg, Germany. And then over here, uh, trying to keep the glare off these shiny plastics. Here I have a block of Hindenburg stamps um, of another, another letter that I guess went to Mannheim, Germany, or from Mannheim, Germany, with another Hindenburg stamp. And this is rather interesting to a Milton Erlanger, it looks like, Empire State Building, New York City. So that's, that's kind of cool. There's an unused postcard showing Hindenburg and Hitler together. This is before Hitler was officially in power. And then next, we have a series of 
different people that they're commemorating. I'm not sure who they all are. I'd have to kind of go back and look. But as you can see, now the stamps are starting to get a little more political and propaganda-like with the content here. See, now you're starting to see the... Uh, the eagle and swastika and the flag with the swastika and then you've got the soldiers and as time goes on more of the same and then you had a series of Hitler stamps as you can see there is all kinds of different denominations of Hitler stamps and uh, I forget what that purple one is it commemorates something And then we have, I have these kind of in order how they would be in the Scott stamp catalog, but I don't, I don't have all of them, obviously. I'm missing a bunch. This is kind of like uh, the, I guess like a jo German folk series, you could say. And then there was the 1936 Olympics. So I have the majority of those. Those are pretty sought after by stamp collectors. And then they had a series of um, architecture, different buildings and stuff, I guess, when they are building up Germany. And then I've got this thing. Uh, I think it was for one of Hitler's birthdays. I don't remember exactly for sure. And then they have, like, like a naval um, series with different kinds of ships. More Hitler stamps. These are all in chronological order, so... This is just a set of cancellations for this particular stamp. I'm not sure. I guess it's uh, the, the Olympics, I believe. Looks like it's commemorating the Olympics or something to do with sports. And just more buildings and then uh, cars. I guess these are kind of showing the evolution of the car. And here you got... Volkswagen Beetle and um, so I guess that's from around 1939 I think or I guess that's early 40s actually well maybe it is 1939 another Hitler stamp that was um, I think might have been one of Hitler's birthday stamps um, that's supposed to be some very famous stamp I'm not sure what it's all about but I was told it's a very famous you know like an ink stamp and then I always thought this set was cool it's showing the different uh, military things that were going on you know building airplanes and factories and troops marching and that kind of thing and then they you know they seem to like to have these architectural series probably had something to do with Hitler you know, with his architecture and building Germany. And then that was like Hitler's, uh, what year is that? 1941. I'm not sure what birthday that was. It was probably like his 50th birthday or something like that. More buildings. Hitler and Mussolini. Um, stuff like commemorating the birth of uh, Mozart. And like architecture, there's an equestrian kind of related series. And then here we have uh, some different cancellations. And I always thought that was kind of a cool stamp with the colors and everything. And then here's like mid-war. This is like when they're in the middle of Russia, fighting with the Russians. And you can see there's all these battle scenes, Stukas, Flax. The Falsham Jaeger is a Panzer three or Panzer four. I'm not sure. I think it's a three PT boat. So I've got the uncancelled series, and I've got them canceled. Another set of Hitler stamps. More uh, various things. Um, there's another series of like. The Germans fighting a Ketten craft rod, half motorcycle, half track thing. It was a really interesting vehicle. I saw one of those actually in the Imperial Palace Car Museum years ago in the 80s. 
There's another series of like factory workers and that kind of thing. And then we get to, now we're nearing the end of the war. And these two stamps right here are the last stamps issued before Germany fell. 1945, you can see there is sort of a, kind of a desperate patriotism in these pictures, I guess you could say. And here we've got some various airmail stamps. And, uh, so some of these are kind of rare, like to actually find a canceled inflation stamp of 75,000 marks, it's pretty rare. And usually, in the stamp collecting world, you want a mint, unhinged, unused stamp. That's what's worth the money. But in the case of these old uh, inflation stamps from Germany, it's actually, they're worth a lot more if they were canceled because they were actually used by someone. Instead of just being printed and, and not used because nobody could afford to mail anything. And then I got a series of... Uh, Nazi occupied Poland stamps and then just some stamps of uh, the period from other countries Poland France some Russian stamps <clears throat> that's a US stamp that's one of my favorite US stamps being World War II history buff and then occupied Czechoslovakia Hitler stamps and then I've got a couple of really interesting ones here this is a postcard, um, I think probably from a Nazi on vacation to Berlin. And I believe that this came from Italy. And it's got the Nazi eagle swastika and all that. And it's from 1941. I've got another interesting one here. This one went to a Reichsminister of munitions and it's got the official Nazi seal right here and I guess this was mailed from Munich in 1941 We've got another one here that's interesting this is actually something that was used by the official Nazi party for some sort of business so when you see the NSDAP, that's the Nazi party right there. So this was official Nazi party business. And uh, I don't know what the date is here. I can't quite tell. It uh, looks like 1938, maybe? Not, not exactly sure. And then lastly, I have this interesting envelope. It's actually... Um, it's got the inflation stamps on, and you can see 500 million marks to mail this letter to wherever it went. I'm not exactly sure <laughs> if who it went to or, or exactly what it was about, but um, you can see the date there. It's 1923, mailed from Hamburg, Germany. So that's it for my my uh, German stamp collection between the end of World War I and the end of World War II. I thought you might like to see this. This is not something that you see a lot of, and it's really interesting that, um, you know, it, it tells a story. Just, just looking at this, what's on the stamps, it tells it's, its history. It's showing you what was happening at the time. And uh, I think it's pretty fascinating.